So our second hunter chase of the day, race 23 on your big card, is the Mary Revley Chase. Reevely Chase, should I say, over two miles and seven furlongs. So a long one. Jovial apparent for Thomas Rogers is number one now. Top weight goalie for Stu Gray is number two. Mentalia for Alex Cherry is three. Tomoka Shu for James Shea is four. And Romantic Liaison for Obi-Wan makes up five. So a similar field of our Tom Rogers in our previous race. James Shea as well in here. Try and rock the boat and get up to that double figure. Ten national hunt, hunt wins for the uh, hunters as they go over the first of the 19. It's been entirely that led us over it for Alex Jerry. Tim, Tim O'Connor, Tim O'Connor, Shoe for James Shea in second. Joe Apparent for Tom Rogers is third. The Grey Goldie for Stu Gray. Romantic liaison in the other six for Obi Wan. And fourth and fifth as they get to the second of 19. All over it. And they're being led by a reluctant Mentalia. It's taking a bit of a hold. Alex Cherry looking for his uh, first hunter chase of the win. Or his first hunter win of the season. He's now been able to enter too many. Because his horses are good enough to win the festival. Certainly not going to be under 100. But there's the Mentalia that leads us. A couple of lengths from Tomoka Shu in second. He won his romantic race in his third. Four mistakes by Goldie and Jovial apparent towards the rear. As they race left handed, it's Mentalia that leads from Tomoka Shu and Romantic Liaison. And Goldie the Grey. Jovial apparent for Tom Rogers just at the rear of the top weight. We go over the fifth. Plenty of air being given to that fence by Goldie and the leader Mentalia. Single foul, swing left handed, just over two miles still to travel. It's been entirely that leads us into it. Thinks it well, better jumps in the rear by Jovial Apparent and Goldie this time round. He's still got another 13 fences to take. It's two miles and seven furlongs. We're going to be led by Mentalia. It well. Well, we've lost the race. Now it's back. So Mentalia leads us by about five or six to, to Mokashu in second. Romantic Lays and Jovial Apparent and Goldie. That's your five as I get to the eighth. Oh, my leader went straight through the top of that. Mr. Cherry's horse didn't even make the effort to jump it. Just cracked it down. So it's Mentalia that leads. Oh, there's a little man popping up on the screen on the right hand side. Hello. As they get to the ninth, they take that well. Oh, a bit of a tight hit by Goldie. Lucky to still be on his feet. Shuffles back three or four lengths. And the chasing pack. And the chasing Mentalia. To make a shoot. And then to the end of Jungle Apparent. And the slow coach Goldie at the rear as they go over the tenth. So half of the fence is dumped. Time that still leads us through to Mokashu and Romantic Liaison. Joe for the Parent and Goldie. With the shoot, they'll be coming uh, down for the winning post next time. So we'll skip over that. Romantic Liaison jumped himself into second. But takes a hold again. So we'll still going over a mile. So it's Mentalia still leading from Romantic Liaison in second. Joe for the Parent to Mokashu a third and fourth. And Goldie just came a bit closer again. Over the twelfth. Fast jump there by Goldie, jumps himself into the chasing pack, joins the rest. They are Mentalia. To lead them into the 13th, nice jump by everybody there. Romantic Gazer just a tad slow. Jumps back into fifth position. So they're all in for a bit of money here. But it's just Mentalia that leads us by about four to Tomoka Shu. Jovial apparent on the inside, Goldie the Grey on the outside. Wider still is Romantic Liaison with the socks. We go to the 14th, they took that well. Mentalia was a little slow. So there's nothing between these, anything could win it. Only five lengths from first to last as they race to left handed again. We come down to the six furlong pole. It's this Mentalia that's going to lead them over it, but he doesn't. He goes through the top of it. Mentalia's jumping's got worse as we've gone round, and Jovial Apparent's now taking it up as well as Goldie's joined Mentalia, pushing through his Tomoka shoe. Out wide is Romantic Liaison, so there's nothing in it between these. 
as we come down to the next and the final half mile. It's been tire and Jovel apparent. These two are your one two as they get to the ditch. Better jump there by Jovel apparent. The top weight from Mentalia is being pushed along now. So it's Jovel apparent from Mentalia. Tomoka Shu making a move now for James Shea. Goldie for Stu Gray still there. Romantic liaison starting to be pushed along a little bit. But it's Jovel apparent being challenged now by Mentalia as they go over the 17th three from home. And it's Mentalia that knows his back in front again. Mentalia for Alex Cherry from Jovial apparently race left handed with just two to jump and it's Mentalia from Jovial apparent to Mocha Shu running on well now is Romantic Liaison Goldie doesn't look like he's got a left life they go over the penultimate and it's Jovial apparent that still leads from Mentalia that's getting a little bit tired and starting to go backwards to Mocha Shu still trying to run on Romantic Liaison on the outside Goldie still trying to run on but it's this Jovial apparent as they approach the last got a length advantage he gets over it but gave it some air and to Mocha Shu drawn alongside so it's Jovial apparent to Mocha Shu Thomas Rogers and James Shea find it out as we come up to the line. It's Jovel Apparent just by a nose. Jovel Apparent from Timoka. Jovel Apparent just hangs on from Timoka Shu of James Shea. Good win there for Tom Rogers. He's a 1 1 for a while. Moves up to 600 chase wins for the year. Just by a nose from Timoka Shu. Oh, he got up for third. What a surprise. Long time lead up. Alex Cherry's. Oh, we're not going to get a card up. We are. Alex Cherry's mentality was fourth romantic liaison for everyone got up for fifth. Let's move on to race 24.